Hello again, Craig Harrison from the real estate team here at Business Depot. Today I want to talk to you about acquiring a rent roll. There's a lot of opportunities out there at the moment. People are starting to ask, you know, how can I fund this? Can I get it done? Now, what uh, people do understand is the banks will lend against the equity in a rent roll. What they don't necessarily understand is how much you can use your existing rent roll to help with that funding. So I'm going to put some really rough numbers around it at the moment. So banks will typically lend around about 60% of a rent roll value. And what they'll look at is the combined value of a rent roll once it's been acquired and consolidated into your existing one. So let's say you've got, say, a $1,500 per property per year management income, you've got 250 properties. If you're in a market with a multiple of say $3, that's gonna give you a value about $1.125 million. You might be looking at uh, a growing your rent roll through acquisition because you can't organically grow. 150 properties, same management income, same multiple come up. So another 150 properties, that value is going to be around about $675,000. Now, the bank will look at the consolidated value of these two rent rolls when they determine whether they'll lend up to that 60%. Now, if this one is unencumbered and you have no debt, that makes up about 63% of the value, which means that you are carrying more equity into this than what the bank um, needs and therefore they will fund that acquisition of only about 37% of your equity without you having to put your hand in your pocket. Can vary depending on the rent roll and what you've got, but if you need some help working the numbers, feel free to get in touch with us.